The current economic climate is, is tough for everybody. But depending on how you look at it, you know, 2009 was, was a tough year for me, but it was also one of the best years I ever had creatively because I was forced to um, reevaluate what I thought was important. I just want to take pictures. I want to take pictures to make images, but I want also need to take pictures to keep sane. Two of my mentors, Kwaku Alston and Matthew Jordan Smith, they taught a class when I was in college. They, they taught a class that I went to, and they would always say this at the end of the class. They'd say, shoot what you love. You know, and that's, it sounds very simple, but I think that it's like, it's very apt and kind of accurate, especially in a, in a climate like this where you might not be working for a minute. It's like, all right, cool, go out and shoot what you love. And in that way, you're always, you're staying sharp, you're practicing new techniques, you're making new work. And um, through like one of the toughest years I've ever had, you know, I made a ton of great new work. I've got a brand new portfolio that's getting me new work now, which if circumstances were reversed, I'm not sure if I would have done. I'm not sure if I would have had the time to. You know, like let's think about what we actually enjoy doing and do it while we have the time. I always have, you know, a camera on me and there are always pictures that are being taken whether I'm out at a party or a bar mitzvah or if I'm out at the dog park. The thing that changed for me at the end of 2009 was the fact that, you know, my agent, uh, Bernstein and Drooly, they came up with a great idea. They were looking at these pictures that I was just taking when I was out. And they're like, you know what, you should put these into, a, into some sort of a portfolio. You should show these. And these were photos of me out at night and my friends and their drinks involved. And it's downtown New York. It's a little dirty. Sometimes the lighting might be a little too hot. Sometimes the uh, composition might not be perfect. But it was real life. And people started to hire me off of that work that I was already doing. So all of a sudden, your personal work that I was doing for therapy in a time when I wasn't working as much is now getting me work. Being a photographer is a, it's not just a nine to five. It really is a 24 hour a day thing. It's what I think about from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed and then I dream about it. It is an all encompassing thing. It can be orgasmically high or reach levels of depression that are really, really dark moments. It sucks to have something that has that much control over you. But I love photography. I'm in love with photography. That's what I do. That's what I want to do. And if I'm not doing it, I'm not happy.